hey guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video if this is your first time i am charity and if you're returning back thank you for always coming back to be a part of this family please use the sign down there that says subscribe and then next to it is the bell when you use that bell every time i upload a new video you will be notified okay so um in today's video i am in my kitchen and i'm going to be showing you how to prepare the Nigerian version of anyhow anyhow fried rice. So when I saw this recipe, I kind of felt that it's gonna help a lot of people because if you cannot afford a kilo of chicken for 2000 naira, then definitely you can afford the eggs. So um, for this video, we are going to be using the eggs instead of the chicken because my pastor says one egg equals to one chicken. Um, let me just show you how Jesse Queen prepared this rice. Uh, let's just see the ingredients and see how this food is prepared. Yeah, so guys, I'm going to be showing you the ingredients for this particular recipe, the anyhow, anyhow fried rice. So uh, I'm going to be using eggs instead of chicken. So here I have about uh, 10 pieces of eggs. I'm going to be using, this is a mixture of green peas, green pepper, um, spring onion, and um, one more ingredient, all of those green things, you know. This is a combination of all of it. And I'm going to be adding my sweet corn. I love to add sweet corn to my fried rice. If it is missing, then I won't enjoy the rice. So this is my sweet corn. I love to add it. I'm going to be using it and I'm going to be adding these peas and uh, also the carrots and the uh, onion. You can see my onion. I love to use onion. This is the salt to taste. We have the vegetable oil and i have sliced tomatoes i don't know i can't really remember if jesse queen used um sliced tomatoes but i love to add this to my fried rice because already i need to as much as possible make this rice to be nutritious you know so i'm adding my tomatoes and i'm going to be using my butter you know i'm going to be adding butter to this recipe and this is about the ingredients as you can see is anyhow anyhow so we are not needing too much of um, ingredients and i'm going to be adding pepper although i've already blended right there i've blended my um my fresh pepper because this time around i want to try using fresh pepper i always make use of cameroon pepper that's the blended one so you can use this actually it's very good so you can use this if you want but i'm going to be using fresh pepper for today's video it's already there let me just quickly show you um how i blended this pepper in my blender so this is how it looks like that's the pepper i'm going to be using and um in here i found this out and i love it because lagos we have one issue with lagos nigeria so you may not know but i'm not going to be saying it so because of that particular thing i got this one to be able to put all of my things inside here i think they are safer for me so i'm going to be using most of the ingredients from here like the curry and the other spices for this you know rice so uh, that's about that for the ingredients in this rice okay so uh let's just start yeah so guys um i've added my vegetable oil and i'm melting a little quantity of butter into it um because i would love for the butter to mix you know incorporate in the rice very well and then i'm adding my onions into it to fry a little bit not too much but to fry it a little bit um you know just to make the taste of the onion to add itself with the butter and then the vegetable oil of course so yeah we're allowing the onion to fry just a little more and now i'm adding the tomatoes so guys if you notice these tomatoes are you know cut into like square shaped so i'm um, very easy on the turning because i don't want it to look like um fully blended tomatoes i just want it to have this you know desirable colorful look so i'm gonna be allowing it to stay like this i won't be turning it much 
and i'm adding the piece i'm adding this piece this time around because i would love for it to cook a little bit you can add it i've seen people add it to the rice when they are you know parboiling their rice i've seen people add it you know in the mixture of their fries whatever but i just feel like i always love to do my own things my own way so i feel like adding it to this tomato so while the tomato is drying a little bit the pea is going to you know cook itself a little because the rice has already even parboiled be parboiled already so um i wouldn't want the peas to be hard so this time around i'm also adding pepper all these are all coming together because they are going to fry a little so our rice does not taste um fresh tomatoes or fresh pepper or fresh um you know like that i would love for it to have that fried you know effect on it so now i'm stirring a little if you notice the way i'm going i'm going so easy on it because of the way i sliced the tomatoes i'm adding a little bit of curry you know that's a sachet of curry i'm adding a little bit of it remember we're making this video so simple you know for everybody to be able to enjoy you know their simple fried rice i've added maggi i'm adding maggi right now i've added curry you know to this fry just to give it that um wonderful smell and taste you know while i cook my food and you guys this pot is huge yeah so i'm um, also adding my vegetable oil for this time around i'm going to be preparing the egg for the rice you know we're not using chicken this time around so i'm going to be getting the eggs ready while the tomatoes and um, the other ingredients fry you know in the other part and i've kept a little onion because i know that i'm going to need it again even as i prepare you know as i continue making this simple fried rice okay so i'm frying my onion like i told you guys i'm preparing the egg for the fried rice while the tomatoes is you know getting dried in the other pot so now i'm adding the pieces of eggs you know one by one as i prepare it separate on its own yeah i'm adding the eggs i have about 10 of it you know we are not using chicken so we are going to like add um eggs you can add as much as you can afford you can add as much as possible in order to still give your kids you know that nutrient that they need if you can't get them the chicken and um mind you that with this recipe you can actually still have your chicken hanging on your rice to you know enjoy yourself after your fried rice but then this video is basically for you to know that you can actually cook your fried rice without having your chicken you know available so that is the spatula that we're going to be using and we would need this spatula uh, because of the way we would love for these eggs to come out as you watch me prepare this food yeah still checking and i'm going to be lifting you know the eggs little by little because there is this effect that i'm looking for and very soon you guys these eggs will drink up the whole of this oil uh, as it forms the nature that i want it to form just take a look at the way i'm doing this thing this is a wisdom i'm trying to you know incorporate to the one that i learned from um jesse queen so i'm trying so hard to make it come out the way i would love for it to come out you know and then i'm adding pepper why am i adding this pepper this is something i'm doing on my own as well because i love to have my food spiced up if it's not spicy then it's not for me i can't eat it if i eat something that is not spicy i'll feel like throwing up so i always love to spice up like everything i I can't eat anything without pepper so um I just feel like if I add pepper to this egg it's going to be sharper in, on the tongue and easier for me to you know consume and even my kids are used to pepper we just love it spicy yeah so uh it can it has actually given it a different look a uh, more beautiful look and the egg has arrived at the way I want it to you guys look at what I told you 
see how it's looking so wonderful so yummy looking and you can actually like put this egg for me in a plate and start eating so we are back to our frying um uh, ingredients as you can see it's almost dried in fact it has reached the way i want it to look and i'm adding all the green vegetables into it so i can mix them together and fry them a little bit just a little bit okay remember that everything still has to be you know fresh on the mouth and all that so you guys you can see how beautiful this is looking and i'm adding my sweet corn this is like the cherry on the cake for me i don't know why but i just love my corn in my rice yeah so i'm turning everything together as you can see you know mix together in a little way so um you can see what i'm actually using to turn it because i don't want to harm any of the ingredients so i'm adding my eggs from the frying pan into the other mixture to combine them together and incorporate everything that's what i'm doing right now the eggs and the other green ingredients and the tomatoes everything joined together you guys this meal is already looking so beautiful it's already looking so inviting you can actually take it from here and um, eat your bread eat your white rice um, and any other but this time around we are making fried rice so we're going to be adding our rice into it yeah i'm adding a little of maggi again into the whole mixture and a salt to taste of course and um turn together right now mix them together mix them together properly and now i'm adding my carrots because I'm almost ready to bring this meal down and I like my carrots to still be very sharp in the mouth almost like you're eating a raw carrot that's the way I like it so I'm gonna allow it to heat just a little just a little and you guys uh, see how it is looking so yummy so beautiful and I'm adding my rice even though we kind of overpowered this rice while I was doing it the intro to this video and i realized that the rice has been overpowered but it's still not bad so i'm just using my spatula to spread it and uh, incorporate the rice with the other ingredients to arrive at you know what i actually started out for in this video so um i'm gonna keep mixing them together gently gently so i can actually arrive at what i planned out for yeah and it's already looking so beautiful with the eggs and um everything looking so beautiful looking so fine you can add as much rice as possible just to be enough for you and your family you know just um the quantity you think you desire and then make sure that you don't over add the rice so you can still uh, as well still enjoy the taste of your ingredients because if the rice is too much then it's definitely going to swallow up the ingredients and um, it will look like you're eating grass <laughs> but if the rice quantity matches with the ingredients then you have arrived at what you're looking for so guys we are done we are done with this meal and it's as simple as this so you just scoop the quantity you like into your plate and then you just go ahead and enjoy a very nutritious meal you guys look at how this is looking it's looking so yummy like you can eat and drink your water or take your soft drink and yeah so guys thank you for still being around here and thank you for staying till the end of this video if you have you are the real deal like i love you see you bye